everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review, and today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And today we're going to take a look at the new three and a quarter inch tall Marvel Infinite Series Hulk figure from Hasbro. Now, this new Infinite Series is basically just a rebranding of Hasbro's Marvel Universe line. Uh, same type of figure construction we saw in that line, same scale, it's just a new name and new type of packaging, which is very generic. Um, as you can see here, the packaging, and it looks basically the same for all the figures in this line now. You've got the Marvel Infinite Series logo up at the top. Um, then underneath that, you've got some Avenger logos with Thor's hammer, Cap Star, Iron Man's helmet, and Hulk's fist. Um, originally, this line was going to be called Avengers Infinite Series, but it looks like they've gone with just the name Marvel instead. But still, we've kind of have that Avengers branding on the packaging. Um, then the figure's clearly displayed on the card back, and then underneath that, you have the figure's name. Then on the back of this uh, packaging, um, you have a picture of the figure, um, along with a brief bio, and then underneath that, you have a look at the other figures in the first series. Okay, so let's get this figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now, just for uh, name purposes, even though they just classify this figure on the packaging as Hulk, I'm going to call this uh, Indestructible Hulk because this is basically how the Hulk appears in the Marvel Now title, Indestructible Hulk. Um, he sometimes has the armor, all the armor on like you see here, and sometimes he has just the bottom part. And actually on this figure, the top pieces are removable, and we'll go over that in just a moment. And if you're wondering why the Hulk is wearing armor at all, um, I, if I remember correctly, in one of the storylines, the shield gives it to him uh, because he ends up having to travel through time to stop a bad guy, and the armor is supposed to help him uh, w with the time travel. Um, and why he, you see him wear it sometimes in other titles like Avengers and stuff, I don't know. I guess they just like the look and, and stuck with it. But there was an actual specific reason for the armor in the, in the Indestructible Hulk comic um, and why he was wearing it. Now I will say that this figure, is a, I think, is a very good representation of that look. Um, and I definitely am glad that the top pieces of armor are removable because usually you see him without that in the comics and I think it, the figure itself looks much better without it um, but just to go over you know these armor pieces they've used uh, they've got some kind of uh, it's metallic paint silver metallic paint but they've given it some washes to kind of give it a worn effect which is nice um, they've added some yellow throughout the pieces on his chest and on his belt um, and then on his feet again you can see the the black kind of wash in there to give it more of an armor type look and feel which I think is really good and he's got brown pants and there's no real with the brown and the greens on the figure they didn't really use any washes but still I think it looks pretty good and it's a darker green than than what we've seen used with some of the other Marvel Universe Hulk figures um, but again that's more in fitting with what we see in the comic books and with the head sculpt I think the head sculpt is dead on to that look for that we see in the Indestructible Hulk comic book so I really like the head sculpt on this figure um, now some might think that the head looks a little small for the body but again I think it's very accurate to what we see in the comic books and I and I really like it um, he's got much shorter hair almost like a buzz cut um, in the comic books I think this was right after he, we had seen the Hulk bald so it's kinda like his hair just started to grow back in um, or he decided that he liked it much shorter, I don't know, but but his hair is definitely much shorter than we typically see it. And then he's got this kind of grinding his teeth angry grin, which I think looks pretty good. Now, as I mentioned before, um, the armor pieces on the top are removable. Now, one thing that I to know is these arm, uh, these arm guards that he wears on his forearms on mine at least are very loose they've just used a very soft rubber type material for these and so they don't stay on the arms very well they slide off or slide down very easily so just be wary of that um, and again I, I actually prefer to pose the figure without them and then the the chest piece again is also removable it's just like a vest 
and you can just take it off, which is really nice. Now, the paint, the green on his chest area is a little, it's a flatter green type paint that, on, than what you see on his arms. The arm, paint, the paint on his arms, I don't know how well it picks up in camera, is a little shinier green. So when you take the chest piece off, you can kind of notice a little bit difference in the, in the green colors between his chest and, and his arm. And then the belt piece is not removable, but it is a separate piece on the figure. Um, it's, so you can kind of turn it and it doesn't really prohibit the movement of the figure at all. Scale wise this figure is is in pretty good scale with your other Marvel Universe figures. This figure stands at just about five inches tall so he is bigger than your regular Marvel Universe Infinite Series figures. Um, here he is next to the Marvel Universe Captain America and you can see Hulk is much taller like he should be. Here he is against uh, Marvel Universe Red Hulk and you can see they're pretty uh, similar in size. Here he is next to an older Hulk, Marvel Universe Hulk figure, and again you can see they're pretty comparable in height. Uh, the older figure is a little wider, um, but but for height wise you can see they're pretty much the same. In this Hulk figure the greens are much lighter green than on, on this new figure. But again, I, I think the green colors that you see in the comic tend to be darker than what we used to see on the character. And then just for a couple more size comparisons, here he is against with the Marvel Universe Abomination. Now Abomination is a bit shorter. And then finally, just as one more size comparison, here he is against the um, Marvel Universe Thor figure. And you can see you know, Hulk's a little bit taller, but again, that, that seems accurate. Um, so I think overall the scale on this Hulk figure is pretty good. For articulation, it's pretty standard from what you would expect from a Marvel Universe Infinite Series figure. Um, he's got good movement. The head is on a ball hinge joint, so he can't look up very much with the way that because the, the neck's kind of uh, pointing forward, but he can look straight ahead and then he can look down really good. And he can turn his head left and right with no problem. Um, arms are with attached with your at the shoulder with your standard ball hinge joint. He can get his arms straight out, and he's got good rotation. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got single hinged elbows, but he can bend his arm pretty good. And he's got swivel wrists. Um, at the midsection, he's got uh, an ab type crunch joint where he can swivel. Doesn't really have much up and down movement. A little bit, you know, can rock a little bit, but. Um, has the swivel there. And the legs are attached with uh, ball joints so you can do the splits about that much. He can do his leg forward pretty good and he can do his legs kind of out and back. And he's got uh, the thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knees so he's got pretty good bending at the knee. And then he has the ankle pivot. And then the figure has two peg holes at the bottom. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I like this figure. I like getting a modern incarnation of the Hulk um, from the Marvel Now series. I'm very glad that Hasbro made this figure so you could take the top armor pieces off because I do think the figure looks much better displayed without the vest and, and arm guards. And especially because the arm guards do not stay on the figure very well. Um, I think this is a very solid looking figure and looks very true to what we see in the comics. So this figure is hitting shelves now as part of Hasbro's new Marvel Infinite series, which is just a rebranding of the Marvel Universe line. Um, so you can check either your local retailers or if you don't want to try and hunt it down, you can order these online as well at places like Big Bad Toy Store. So that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, I'll check you later.